another episode. So I'm just packing my bag, getting ready to head up to the Olgas and the Valley of the Winds. Got some sun-dried tomatoes. Just having a bit of a snack before I head off. All right, guys, I've just started the walk. I've decided that I'm gonna start with the Karoo Lookout. So I'll get there first, and then after I get there, I'll head on to the Karanjana Lookout. Um, our friends told us that definitely go to the second lookout, put the time and effort in because it's worth it. Um, but I won't be doing the full loop. I'll just return back the same way that I came. So far, so good. We're about 10 minutes into the walk, and you really, Got to be up close to these things to get a real size of how big they are. Just look in this direction. It is humongous. We're already at the first lookout, Karu lookout, and the wind's really picked up. Just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So far there's only been one information sign about the creation and everything of this place. Um, I'm hoping there's many more so that I can tell you guys more information on what's the history of this place. Okay, this is getting pretty exciting. The view down here is, that has to be the Valley of the Wind, so look at that amazing view through that valley. I would love to fly a drone in this park and also in Uluru to show you guys aerial views of things like like that but unfortunately this park yeah you, you need to get a permit to operate a drone in here which I can understand it kind of would be take from the experience but some people can do it like media people um, I applied for one but they didn't get back to me so I mean there's not much I can do Must be getting pretty close to the second lookout. I'd say, I don't know, maybe five minutes away probably. But the walk through this valley has been absolutely stunning. Breathtaking views. And it's just, it just makes you feel so small. So the wind's really picking up now. And Made it to the top of this part. Wow. So this is the Karanjana lookout, the second lookout that my friends said it's worth it to come to and I can see why now. We're just standing in this humongous rock valley right now. The wind is gusting. There's no one else here. This is uh, the Mount Olga's walks are definitely a little bit more, I guess, harder than the Uluru walk. Uluru is very flat. This is not too hard, but definitely gets the blood pumping. Hey guys, we are at the Mount Connor lookup. Look out, climbing up the dune, and apparently there's, you can see the salt lake from the top of this dune, so we're going to go have a look at that. Well, I don't know why I walked through there. <laughs> I have no idea either. Salt lake. Guys, geez, it looks hot out there. It does. And in the distance, when you look the other way, there's Mount Connor. Can't really see it with this lens on. It's not really a zoom one, but it's very big. So that's it for this episode, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hope you got some value and enjoyed it. 
Um, yeah, follow me, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. See ya.